everyone, and welcome to MX Gaming News. I am, of course, Phoenix, and today uh, we got a few things to go through. So here we go. This is the first out of uh, four. Um, unfortunately, there's going to be no uh, funny haha. Um, I will check in between uh, takes here. So, but right now um, we're going to start off with some good stuff here, which is the end of uh, summer celebration. So it says, thank you all for making this summer a fantastic one for Star Trek Online. To celebrate, we have an, uh, a new well-known starship being released this Thursday, and we're going to be giving away free uh, sea store items all weekend long. Each day around 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, starting this Friday, August 29, 2014, and continuing through Monday, there will be a different free item to claim. Uh, sorry, to claim it, simply log into the game on an eligible character. We'll list the eligibility requirements for each item in a uh, sorry in a later news post. Visit the in-store C store, the in-game C store. I can't talk today. Navigate to the item listed and click the claim button before the next day's giveaway. The best part is that the price for each of the announced items will be zero zen, and they are account-wide unlocks. We hope to have a fantastic weekend, and we thank each of you for support of the Star Trek Online. Okay, so good news. Hey, awesome. Um, good news for everyone else, not for me. I'm going to be away this week, so or this weekend, and I'm not going to have a computer. So I'm going to have to get someone to, uh, to log in for me and, and do that. Anyways, so that's the first part. I will be back shortly with the next part and see if we have any faha, funny hahas at the end. All right, and welcome back. So here we are. We have information on tier six starships. I think this is quite a bit to go through, so um, we'll do it a little bit at a time here. So with the increase of Star Trek Online's level cap from 50 to 60, we feel we felt it was only natural to introduce a new tier of starships. In addition to the normal features you'd expect from a higher tier starship, hull, point, hull hit points, an additional console slot, etc., we are also adding several unique features to this tier of ships such as an additional bridge officer ability slot, access to specialist bridge officer seats, uh, ship, starship mastery, and a starship trait. However, these are only some of the unique aspects of these ships, so without further ado, here is an explanation of what makes Tier 6 ships so special. Alright, so stats improvements. Tier 6 ships again stat, uh, gain stat improvements that you would expect uh, from a new tier of starship. These ships uh, gain additional console slot, an additional bridge officer ability, and sizable amount of additional hit points. A new feature of the tier 6 starships is that their hit points increase as the captain levels go up. Each time your captain gains a level beyond 50 up to level 60, the starship's hull points will increase. These ships are intended to grow with the captain. This feature allows tier 6 starships to be available at level 50 without making them uh, without having more hit points than tier 5 starships to do to at that do at that level I can't I gotta focus here example at level 50 your tier 6 uh, starship might have 35 hit points while at level 60 it will have uh, 40,000 so that's not too too bad uh, so we got all right, so specialist bridge officer seats. We really wanted this tier of starships to stand out as, uh, and offer some unique features not found anywhere else. These ships can, but don't always, have hybrid bridge officer seats that can slot special bridge officers. These special officers have access to two complete, uh, two complete pools of bridge officer abilities. One of these abilities is the complete suite of all new bridge officer abilities, while the other is the existing profession, tactical, science, or engineering. It is important to note that while these ships don't always feature a specialist specialist bridge officer seat, all of the tier 6 ships launching with Delta Horizon will feature, uh, feature at least one of these special seats. So they're at least giving you something there. That said, we're not quite ready to fully reveal the new redacted bridge officers. You can expect to get a full re uh, reveal of this new type of bridge officer in the very near future. Stay tuned. Okay, so that's going to be cool. You're going to—I don't know how if you're going to be able to flip between the two, but that's going to be awesome. Or if you can actually have that along with your regular bridge officer uh, um, 
pro, uh, I guess professions in a sense. So that would be kind of cool. Is that say hybrid? So that would mean that you get uh, them at the same time. So and there's a picture of the new ship that they are releasing. Ship Mastery. We'll just go slowly down here. I don't want to go over everything else here. Uh, another interesting aspect of tier 6 ships is the new Starship Mastery System. This ship represents your captain and crew mastering the Starship and discovering its full capabilities over time. All tier 6 ships have the ability to become more powerful as captains gain skill points. This allows the Starship to effectively level up. Tier 6 Starships start at level 0 and progress to level 5 as the captain plays the game normally. At each level up to level 4, the Starship gains new passive abilities that uh, provides a sizable boost to, to a stat like damage resistance, critical hit chance, or hit points. These passive abilities are specific to the ship that has unlocked them, and each starship will be given a category shares uh, the same package of passive abilities. Um, so, example, all battle cruisers have the same four passive abilities in their ship mastery. Uh, that's not too too bad. I apologize for if you hear people. There's some sort of party. Thing going on up there. Alright, so we got Starship Traits. Upon reaching Starship Mastery Level 5, at Starship, a Starship Trait will be unlocked. This special trait can be slotted into any of the four Starship Trait slots. This is the new set of Trait slots that will be available to all characters upon achieving level 50. I don't know if that was a typo, if that was supposed to be level 50 or level 60. These special traits are added powerful, add powerful effects to your Starship or to your existing captain and bridge officer abilities. Since starship traits can be slotted, they can be used while flying any starship you own, uh, even if you are not tier 6. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So maybe it is at level five, uh, 50. So, okay. New mechanics. So, one of our goals with tier 6 ships is to have the ability to introduce new game mechanics with some, uh, with some ships. We like to be able to offer new gameplay through new types of starship found in this tier. Some tier 6 ships will be very much what you're used to. Uh, you'll see cruisers, battle cruisers, escorts, raptors, etc. However, you'll also see new takes on these existing ship types, like the redacted ships being introduced in Star uh, Delta Rising. So. One is probably that ship right there, and then at the bottom here they show a raptor or a warbird. All right, so now they got some Q and A's here, so we'll just go over them. So, question: Is my ship's hit point based on my captain's current level, or the same amount of skill points I've earned while flying the ship? Answer: Tier six starships hit points scale as your level as your captain levels up. The value is based entirely upon your captain's current level and the scale and scales based on that. Okay. So, question: Are my skill points split between my starship and my captain? Your captain and starship gain skill points simultaneously. There's no splitting or loss of skill points. So that's that's really good. Um, you don't have to choose between one or the other. Um, if I unlock starship mastery passive powers on one ship category, do the other ships within the same category have this the passive powers unlocked ship mastery passive uh, powers are unlocked on a per ship basis since they represent a captain and cruise affinity with the ship they must be unlocked for each ship you own okay I, I'm I might be confused here but I, I thought they just said that it would be unlocked for all ships I'm I, I'm pretty sure that's what I just read um uh do, 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 do. that's the traits mastery uh do, 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 do. these passive abilities are specific oh specific to the ship that has unlocked okay all right so okay maybe i was mistaken it happens all right uh what's with all the redacted work Committed to revealing everything regarding Delta Rising except the story. All will be revealed in time. Stay tuned. More will be revealed over the coming weeks. Uh, we're super excited to reveal these new these new starships. We'll be talking about the specifics and stats of these new ships very soon. So keep your eye, keep an eye out. Uh, of course, disclaimer: all features above uh, are still in development and are subject to change. Obviously. Okay, so there we go. We got some information on Tier Six ships. Alright, I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to switch to the next tab. 
Okay, so here we go. We have um, a trailer here. Um, it's the Delta Rising trailer. I'm not sure if I should show this or not. Um, then again, I'm pretty sure everyone has probably seen it. So I, I may go ahead and, and, and do it. I'm just I'm going to read here what's on the bottom here. Um, a new conflict has emerged in the Delta Quadrant, calling for the intervention of the United Factions in Star Trek Online. The announcement trailer for Star Trek Online Delta Rising reveals the first glimpse of the trials and tribulations that may lay ahead of them. Can they rise together to save the Delta Quadrant? Set 32 years after the events of Star Trek Voyager, Star Trek Online Delta Rising will bring players into the Delta Quadrant, a mysterious region of space recently made easily accessible through an ancient Iconian gateway. As players explore uncharted worlds and interact with alien species, they will partner with well-known crew members of the USS Voyager to investigate an unknown enemy presence. Okay, so all right well you know I, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it here so um, I will put information that there's gonna be a spoiler in here Okay, so that was the uh, the trailer there. Um, so tell me what you what you thought about it. I think it gives uh, away uh, quite a bit actually. Um, but uh, that I'll, I'll I'll let you guys make that de decision in that call. And like I said, I'll I'll put in a, a thing before and say this is a spoiler. If you want to skip, uh, go to uh, this point in time. Anyways, I'm going to, again, pause the, the video and switch to the next tab. Okay, so we are back, and here we have upgrading Tier 5 ships. So, ah, this I think this is what everyone's been waiting for. So, alright, so I just want to get to, there we go, okay. So, when we first discussed increasing the level cap, one of the questions we first asked ourselves was, what happens to Tier 5 ships? Players have been investing in their tier, uh, this tier of ships for four years and we wanted to avoid devaluing the time and money spent in obtaining them. We wanted a fair solution instead of requiring players to absolutely need to obtain or purchase a whole new suite of starships for a new tier of content as well as have, have in the past. We've approached starships very differently in the, for the level 50 to 60 band. First, we will allow players to upgrade most Tier 5 ships uh, they own to a T5-U version. This upgraded starship receives many of the perks of a Tier 6 ship, minus a few bells and whistles. More on the specifics of this later. Second, all existing content, all new story content, patrols, and most queued, uh, queues will not require a Tier 6 or upgraded Tier 5 starship. The only uh, only the most challenging new level 60 content will strongly benefit from using an upgraded tier 5 ship or a tier 6 ship. However, this will not strictly require it. So that's not too bad there.
Alright, so. Okay, ship upgrading process. Here we go. So, upgrading a tier 5 ship is easy. First, you must be level 50 and at a starship selector NPC on ground map. When browsing your starships, you'll notice a qualifying tier 5 ship will now have an upgraded button on the sh starship's inventory screen. Pressing this button will promptly tell you to pay- What? Pay a Zen cost? Or possibly require an item with a Zen cost? This cost will significantly lower, uh, lower than if you were to purchase a tier 6 ship from the Zen store. Completing this purchase will then immediately upgrade your ship and transfer any items on the tier 5 ship to the new upgraded ship. It should be noted that some ships will be free to upgrade. This includes things like many event reputation ships like the Breen and Rizarian ships, all lockbox ships, all low buy store ships, and duty officer promotion ships like the Jem'Hadar attack ship and the Voth Bulwark Dreadnought Cruiser. Okay. Um, did you guys not say that up here, um, we want to avoid devaluing the time and money spent in obtaining these ships, and yet you are going to charge us to upgrade these ships? Are you kidding me? Okay, this, this, this is a nail in a coffin type scenario. Okay, you don't tell people, no, 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 no. We don't want to devalue the, the the time and effort and and money that you've spent on us, but yet we're going to charge you to upgrade these ships because you decided to raise the level cap and you and you guys decided to um, bring out tier six ships. Yes, people have been asking for it, but to tell us that we have to pay more money to upgrade our tier 5 ships I think that's on that is completely unreasonable that is just greed right there you might as well just say we are greedy buggers okay I, I, I really do hope that someone from Star Trek online or cryptic here's what I'm saying this is this 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 is this is unacceptable guys it really is it I don't mind if you want to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you're, you know, looking at this and upgrading our tier five ships. That's wonderful, but don't make us pay extra money on top of the money that we've already spent on some of these ships. Okay, I don't mind paying EC because EC is easy enough to get it. You could, you could, you can get us to to charge, you know, like a million EC or something like that. You know, a million EC is fairly easy to obtain at this point. But, you know, charging us even more money to upgrade these ships is, is, um, I, I'm, 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 I'm really disappointed. I, I, I'm horribly, horribly disappointed. Um, I, I, I don't know what else to say. Because this is, this is, this is, this is saying a big F you to us, us players, the people who enjoy playing this game, the people who, who do spend money on this game, the lifetime subscribers who, who pay, you know, between 200 to 300, over $300 for a lifetime subscription because they love this game so much that they pay for it, you know. I, I, you know, I, I'm not a lifetime subscriber, but I do pay money to buy these ships, and I think it's very unreasonable that you are charging a, more money on top of this after you've clearly stated, and I will highlight here, why to avoid devaluing the time and money spent in obtaining them. This you have just completely contradicted yourself you know this is this is this is what's gonna you know you guys do something like this and you wonder why you get such bad backlash 
this is what you guys do. This, you know, I don't mind, you know, paying a certain amount for ships. Okay? I, I expect that. I understand that this is a business, that you guys want money. But be reasonable. When you say something like this, and then and then you basically contradict yourself guys like that that, that you know I, I you know that that that's just that boggles my mind guys it really really does so you know I, th I think I think reputation ships lockbox ships low buy store ships this duty officer promotion ship these things should cost money to upgrade not Zen store ships, not fleet ships, because we spend money on those. And I mean, in in, in, in actually retrospect, um, you know, we, people spend money on locks box ships and low buy store ships as well. So, again, y you know, this is this is this is a big, huge f you to us players who love this game, who play this game. You know, I it, it it takes a lot for me to get angry, guys. And you know, this this is something that I just I I, I want to yell on scream about. But I know I know at the end of the day, yelling and screaming is is, is not going to help. So, guys at Cryptic, the ones that make this kind of decision, please reconsider you know I, I, I know you guys want to be paid for your content I understand that and I don't mind you know paying for for certain things but something like this I think I think this is something that should be free okay I'm not you know in a sense, yes, it it sounds like a lot. I know it's a lot to you guys, but to us players, you know, who aren't lifetime subscribers, who are not monthly subscribers, gold subscribers, or silver subscribers, you know, us free to play play players, um, you know, y you may see us as 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 just, you know, you know. Um, what, what's 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 the word? Um, leeches. But you know what? I'm a free-to-play player, and I've spent quite a bit of money on purchasing ships. Spent quite a bit of money on characters. On, on, on lockbox keys that I get nothing from. I don't get any ships from them. The chances of of getting a ship, I might as well just go and farm the EC and buy it off the exchange. That's that's the thing you know I I'm 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 disappointed guys I, I'm I, I'm sorry um, that's this 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 is something that uh, um, y y I think I think cryptic really 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 needs to reconsider um, I don't know how much the cost is gonna be so may may maybe they might say it further down I don't know Anyways, I'm going to continue on with this. I've spent enough time discussing this. So, ship upgrade perks. As mentioned above, upgraded Tier 5 ships or T5U ships will offer many of the same benefits provided by Tier 6 starships minus a few bells and whistles, which is understandable. You need to set apart the Tier 6 from the Tier 5. That's, that's fine. T5 dash U ships will feature a sizable number of additional hit points oh, excuse me guys <clears throat> that will increase your captain levels uh, up an additional console slot a four uh, ship starship mastery levels okay that's pretty cool so get an additional console now I don't know if you get to choose your console or if it's uh, based off of the uh, 
the class of the vessel, whether it's a cruiser, you'll get an engineering. If it's a science, you get an extra science. If it's a tactical, you get an extra tactical. Um, not entirely sure, or maybe they might even allow you to pick. I think I think if you get to pick, I think that would really, really work. Um, as mentioned in the Tier 6 Starship blog, the Starship Mastery System represents your captain and crew mastering the Starship and discovering its full capabilities over time. All upgraded Tier 5 ships will have the ability to become more powerful as a captain gains skill points. This allows the Starship to effectively level up. T5-U ships will start at level 0 and progress to level 4. As the captain plays the game normally, each uh, at each level, up to the max level of 4, the starship gains a new passive ability that provides a sizable boost to a stat like damage resistance, critical hit chance, or hit points. These passive abilities are specific to the starship that has unlocked them. Each starship will, uh, within a given category shares the same uh, package of passive abilities. As you can see, upgraded tier 5 ships share many of the benefits of tier 6 ships, with a few exceptions. Below is a table that lines precisely of which T5U and T6 ships receive. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so the benefit. Scaling HP from 50 to 60, both Tier 5 and Tier 6, yes. Additional console slot, both yes. Ship mastery levels 4 and 5. Okay, so this is where Tier 5 only gets 4, Tier 6 gets the extra 5, or gets the extra point. Starship traits, no. Additional bridge officers, no. Uh, specialist bridge officer seats, no. So, no for tier 5 and yes for tier 6. Uh, uh, upgraded tier 5 ships and tier 6 ships both have four passive abilities. The fifth starship mastery level on tier 6 ships unlocks a starship's trait. All tier 6 ships launching with Delta Rising will come with a specialist bridge officer seat. However, it should be noted the future tier 6 ships may not always come with one. A notable benefit of upgrading a tier 5 ship is that the upgrade is available across your entire count. So that's pretty good. Um, if if I upgrade my Avenger Battle Cruiser to my Starfleet Tactical Captain, I can upgrade an Avenger Battle Cruiser from T5 to T5U on any character that also owns this ship for free. So okay, there's 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 a bit of a trade-off. Um, I'm still not liking what I read previously. Upgradable ships. Alright. The vast majority of existing tier 5 ships can be upgraded to T5-U, granting the benefit of mentioned above. You can find an exhaustive list uh, of upgradable ships here. We'll click on that shortly. Our current plan is to release as many of the ships uh, above as possible when Dental Rising launches. Any ships on this list that aren't available by launching uh, by launch will be re-rolled uh, will be rolled out in future updates until the entire list shows uh, shown in the links above is available. So Q&A. How much Zen will it cost to upgrade my starship? Okay, so here's the good question here. We have not finalized the cost, but it's likely to be somewhere between $5 and $10. So between 500 Zen and 1,000 Zen. <sighs> okay, so this is, this is, this is where per of the issue is considering that you're always you're at least spending about 25 bucks on a star on a starship between usually usually about what 1500 to 2500 so 15 to 25 bucks on top of that now you're probably going to be charged ten dollars um guys no like you know, if if it was if it was a hundred zen, I don't think I would be that upset. But at the end of the day, if I have fifty starships, you know that's fifty bucks I have to shell out. So I mean that that adds up quite quickly. You know, so I I, I think you guys really need to rethink. Um, you know. I, East, I I think EC is is the better way. That way, you know, you know, people people have to still work for it, but they they pay f to upgrade it. Um, and and, and maybe a, a dilithium cost maybe maybe three thousand dilithium, if that. You know, I mean, you. In all honesty, I mean, dilithium is is. Unless you know the tricks of the trade, 
you know, a lot of people don't know how to make much, much dilithium, so keep keep it slightly low, guys. Come on, like we love this game. Don't don't ruin it because you guys want to make money off of us. We understand it's a business. We understand you want to make money, but don't but don't jerk us around like this. Come on, like that's that that's upsetting. Alright, so which ships will be free to upgrade? All Ox Box and Low Buy Starships, Thousand Day Veteran Destroyers, Duty Officer Promotional Starships, and the Dyson, Breen, and Ryzerian Event Starships will all qualify for free T5-U upgrades. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, uh, so if I pay for an upgrade on my on a stage ship, the upgraded starship will be available to all my characters that can fly that ship. Correct. You need to pay the upgrade fee once so now I can understand if, if you say okay if you want to upgrade all ships it's gonna be 10 bucks 10 bucks for all ships that I think is reasonable but you, you know I, I mean if it's if it's 10 bucks for each ship that's a lot of money that people are pouring in into this so uh, I don't know guys I, 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 I'm a little flabbergasted right now <sighs> what actions give skill points to increase my starship mastery level only defeating enemy ships that uh, will yield skill points for your mastery ship mastery starship mastery Okay, that makes sense. You know, you can't get mastery or skill points for, you know, ground combat, but you can get get it for destroying ships and whatnot. Will there be any story content that requires a T5U or T6 starship? Absolutely not. Our goal here is to allow the players to play through all the game story content without requiring the purchase of a starship. Having one of these top-notch ships will certainly give you an edge, but story content isn't designed to require these ships. Okay, well that makes that makes okay. That makes that makes sense. Okay. Um, question: Are there passive abilities between T5 and T6 ships of the same ship category uh, of this, the same, or are the abilities found on T, uh, T6 ships better? That's a very good question. Starship Mastery passive abilities are identical between T5U uh, and T6 starships. The only difference between these ships and the Starship Mastery is that T6 ships have a starship trait that can be unlocked at level 5, whereas T5U ships' Starship Mastery pro progression ends at level 4, and they don't have a starship trait to, un to be unlocked. Okay, that makes, that makes sense. So please note that everything detailed here is subject to change due to feedback. We also encourage you to hop on our test servers, Tribble, experience this system firsthand when it becomes available. Okay. Um. <clears throat> All right. Um. Please, guys. Um. Please, please, for for whatever. Um. The Zen thing. I I th I think I think is just a little too much. I don't mind paying ten bucks to upgrade all my starships I think that's a fair and reasonable price on top of uh, everything else but for, for argument's sake we've just just going back up top here to this highlighted area wanted to avoid devalu devaluing the time and money spent in obtaining them okay um, that right there is 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 key okay I, I'm you know you know you, you you say this and then you turn around and you just basically contradict it with with this okay with this Zen cost here um, or possibly requiring an item with a Zen cost okay um, I, I don't know what you guys are, are, are doing there um, <sighs> You know, I, I'm 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 a little I'm a little upset here, guys. Um, you know, between five and ten dollars. You know what? If it's ten dollars or a thousand zen, just to upgrade all ships. I, I you know what? I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know you guys probably won't even like that idea. But 
again, you have to go back to what you originally said was you're not going to devalue or you want to avoid devaluing our time and money spent in obtaining these ships. Okay? Let that sink in. Think about that. And please reconsider this. Okay? That's all I'm asking. Reconsider. Have an EC charge to it. Have a small, a very small dilithium charge to it. A thousand for each ship. You know, like it's like I said, I know you're running a business. I understand you want to make money. But, you know, basically fl flipping us the bird and saying F you to, to, to your players that love this game is not the way to go. Okay. Anyways, we're going to move on. We're going to go to a list of all upgradable ships here. Alright, so. Uh, promotion, low buy store, lockbox events. So, there's that. All upgraded ships. I'm not going to read through them all. Uh, my, my, my voice is, is getting a little uh, rough right now. <clears throat> so, I'm going to leave this here. Hopefully for for a few maybe thirty seconds. Hopefully that'll be enough. You guys can pause it, pause pause the video and see. So that's promotional buy lock and lock box events and event ships. So these are the so these ones are all free. Sorry, these ones are all free. See store the following ships are upgraded for free. So these two are free, and then. The following ships are graded for Zen. So, and that is a huge list here. So, there you go. There's that. Okay. And these ones are the free upgraded ones. So, these are uh, all the. Um, uh, probably the the veteran day uh, fleet versions so and then the following fleet ships are upgraded for Zen so there you guys go like I said um, probably pause the video so that you guys can can go through but it's pretty much all of them I can tell you that right now. It's it's all of them. And then uh, let's see here. Um, tier five ships that have been omitted from this list as they don't qualify for an upgrade are those that fall onto into one of the following categories: starships with a dilithium or rank up token cost, starships that cost fleet credits only, starships that are awarded from completion of an episode, and mirror universe starships. Uh, okay, so those ships don't qualify for an upgrade. So your regular starships or the starships that you uh, acquire with Dilithium, which is probably just the regular ships, uh, or a rank up token, yeah. So those ships don't apply. Uh, starships that only cost free fleet credits where you spend 200,000 fleet credits, which is absolutely insane. Um, and starships that are awarded for completion of an episode. So uh, I think it was what the um, obelisk carrier. You probably that one probably doesn't um, be awarded. And obviously all mirror universe ships don't apply. So those ships you are unable to upgrade at all. Uh, so and that is it. All right, guys. Um, that is it for today um, I apologize for the vi this this part of the last half of the video just being um, re much of a downer and not and not uh, very fun uh, like I like to have them at the end with one of our fleet mates coming up with some fun and witty uh, stuff here um, like I said if if someone from cryptic the developers from cryptic that do start track online please please reconsider 
the the Zen thing. This is this is going to be a huge backlash against you guys. Um, so please reconsider. Anyways, guys, that is it for me. Thank you for watching. And as always, live long and prosper, and we'll see you out there.